For the past two years, the National Celebrations Commission has been honoring the legacy of seven great Belizeans who have contributed to the creative industry and the country. This year, seven individuals were recognized for outstanding contributions in music, arts, visual arts, and culture. They were nominated by the public and then a selection committee made the final pick. We're very, very happy again this year that we were able to honor and recognize and acknowledge uh, seven outstanding Belizean creatives um, in the areas of dance and music and writing um, and indigenous culture. Um, you know, as I said in my brief remarks, um, for too long we have not paid proper respect to, to the creative community, to our cultural community, and we have not acknowledged them, we have not recognized them. Um, and so this is one of the, the, the proudest things that we do every year for the past two years, um, the Belize at 42 Awards, um, you know, paying tribute to them, um, and at the same time, as I said, honoring the history of those who came before, the trailblazers, the cultural, creative trailblazers. The awardees were as follows. The George Gabb Award for Visual Arts went to Carl Gordon. Gregory Vernon was given the Rosita Baltazar Award for Dance, while the Beverly Smith Lopez Award for Acting in Theatre and Film went to Beverly Swayze. Attorney Godfrey Smith received the Z. Edgel Award for Literary Arts. Aurora Saki was honored with the Don Eligio Pante Award for Protection and Development of Traditional Knowledge. Edgar Maime Martinez got the Leela Vernon Award for Creative Community Action and Safeguarding Cultural Heritage. And Adrian de Doc Martinez received the Andy Palacio Award for Original Belize in Music. It is an honor, you know, um, one that I was not looking out for. Um, but I guess it came in time when I was in the stage of thinking whether I should continue what I'm doing. So this in itself is a courage. And so it came just in time to, to really get that um, thinking off of me now to decide that, hey, the work has to continue. Because I was contemplating whether I should continue to deal with music or not. So it, it's just the right time. I continue to do music and not necessarily doing a lot of performance, but to teach. I had my music institution and I teach young musicians. So that's what I have been doing in Dangriga. Minister of Culture Francis Fonseca says that it aligns with the country's goal of developing the orange economy. This is what the orange economy is. It's about the creative cultural economy. Um, and how can we generate value, economic value, out of this creative cultural work? Um, you know, again, it's an area that we have not paid sufficient attention to. Um, you know, and it's a, tr a tremendous potential, tremendous potential across the globe. Um, you know, the, the orange economy is accounting increasingly for more and more of nations' GDP. Um, so we have to do our part in Belize. Niche has to do its part. The Ministry of Culture has to do its part to make sure um, that we are engaging and involving our creative community um, and putting in place a structure and legislation and policies and programs that allow them um, to, 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 to get value out of their work.